Hello and welcome to this edition of Confinement. I am on Place Vendôme and the famous jewellery shops around this square are all closed. The French economy has contracted 5.8% in the first quarter. That is the worst recession in 71 years. Now, the government has come up with a deconfinement plan. It's been voted on by the parliament, but is very controversial. In the meantime, the priority is to fight the virus. We take you to a COVID-19 unit in Nemours, 50 kilometers south of Paris. It's a report by Karim Yayaoui, Ashraf Abid and Claire Rush. COVID-19 has struck at the very heart of this hospital in Nemours, France. Bonjour, docteur. Here in room 178, a doctor is hospitalized in his own unit. J'ai fait confiance à l'équipe puisque jusqu'à présent on a réussi à tenir à un certain rythme. Health workers here carry a double burden, caring for one of their own, often while being separated from their families. Les enfants sont confinés chez leur papa, donc je les vois pas. In this unit, the crisis has been more of a shock to some than to others. C'est mon tout premier poste, donc c'est pas évident, évident. Donc, et puis il y a eu des décès, etc. On est un petit peu formé à, à tout ça, mais c'est vrai quand on arrive dans, dans la réalité, c'est toujours moins évident. Meanwhile, some medical specialists have temporarily put their practice on hold to boost hospital efforts. Dès que j'ai eu l'information, euh, j'ai pas hésité euh, tout de suite. J'ai répondu. Je lui ai dit oui, je suis à, à votre disposition. Et puis voilà. A dedication to fighting the virus that isn't without fear. Bon, on essaie de pas le montrer. Hein. On essaie de pas le montrer notre peur, mais voilà, on fait, on vit avec. Hein. On fait, euh, on fait notre travail. Hein. The number of patients in France's intensive care units has been falling for more than two weeks. But healthcare workers are still on the highest alert amid concerns of a potential second wave after lockdown is lifted. Air transport has been one of the hardest hit sectors in this crisis. All commercial flights to Orly, France's second largest airport, have been suspended. Though the airport isn't closed, there are personnel working there. Aircraft need constant attention, as Benoit Perrochet and James Wilson explain. Orly Airport shut for commercial flights on the 31st of March. Once busy terminals are eerily quiet and dozens of airplanes are grounded. But the airport is not completely deserted. Jet engines are a bit like muscles. They have to be exercised or they won't work exactly as before. So once a week, Maintenance workers switch them on for 10 minutes to make sure everything stays in good condition. Probes, sensors and the plane's landing gear have to be checked and protected. Even the inside of the plane has to be inspected because birds have been known to nest in there. Some of these planes may not fly again for months, but checkups remain mandatory. We have an avion that will be mobilized on which it will be to des actions de maintenance pour stocker cet avion dans les meilleures conditions possibles pour qu'il puisse revoler et être remis en ligne rapidement et dans, dans les meilleures sécurités possibles pour les passagers. Runways continue to be inspected three times a day. Firefighters remain on duty and carry out practice exercises. In the airport's operations centre, everything is unusually calm. On the day of filming, only one plane landed, whereas in high season, 80,000 travelers a day can pass through all these four terminals. And even though a return to normal is a long way off, it's something management is already thinking about. L'enjeu, c'est la remise en route. C'est la remise en route dans de bonnes conditions. C'est aussi, finalement, aussi de permettre à nos clients, quand on reprendra les opérations commerciales, de leur offrir les meilleures conditions possibles pour reprendre des vols, puisqu'en fait, on sait tous que la confiance sera essentielle à la reprise des opérations. Orly had a record year in 2019, but now, like the aviation industry across the globe, it's facing the biggest crisis in its history. All it can do now is plan, prepare, and hope it's all over soon.
Restaurants and bars have suffered heavy losses with the lockdown. At this stage, there is no official reopening date. In the meantime, their owners are getting ready for the new rules in social distancing, and it's going to be very difficult. Here's a report in Deauville by Julie Dangelhoff and Alexander Arcott. Deauville's famous beach and boardwalk, normally crowded with tourists and festival goers, is now deserted. But the few people who are out on the streets are looking forward to life after lockdown. Reopening in line with the new health rules is a challenge for businesses. In a town where 90% of the economy depends on tourism, annual profits at this restaurant are already down by a third. Là, sur les tables, on va, on va supprimer des tables. Par exemple, cette table aussi, elle sera supprimée. Une table sur deux, là, toutes les grandes tables vont être supprimées. Reduced takings await, but the impact of the lockdown could have been even worse. Euh, Aujourd'hui, euh, les stats, c'est entre 30 et 40 percent d'établissements qui vont non pas pouvoir rouvrir. Les autres qui vont pouvoir rouvrir vont rouvrir avec la moitié de leur effectif. Deauville's mayor says kickstarting tourism before the summer is vital. Beaucoup moins de monde va voyager que dans les, les, les années précédentes. Et donc, il va y avoir un tourisme de proximité. Tous les, les endroits qui reçoivent du public, il y aura des protocoles sanitaires extrêmement précis. Nous prenons tous les sujets qui se posent à nous pour l'ouverture des plages. C'est beaucoup plus complexe qu'on pense. France's tourist sites are looking to reinvent themselves and attract a more local clientele this summer, a way of clawing back some of the huge losses already caused by the coronavirus lockdown. As you can see, traffic is scarce on Paris's famous Rue de Rivoli. Horse riding contests and competitions have all been cancelled. Clubs are closed. But despite the lockdown, horses need to be cared for. And that's proving difficult, as Jonathan Walsh and Luke Schrager report. Alors là, on a Swing. Swing, c'est un cheval qui fait du haut niveau en concours complet. The lockdown leaves no exceptions. With no arena to train at, Swing and his jockey Sidney Dufresne can do little more than make circuits at the stables. And that's far from ideal for a horse like this. Comme tout sportif, dès qu'il arrête son entraînement de haut niveau, euh, voilà, c'est une catastrophe. Le, le corps, il est, il est habitué à être soumis à un certain rythme de travail. In 2018, Sidney and his horse Trésor took the bronze at the World Championships. They were aiming even higher this year. But that was before the pandemic. Là, on était euh, sur la liste pour être sélectionné pour aller aux Jeux Olympiques. Voilà, mais bon, ça s'est arrêté et on verra. Ça sera peut-être pour l'année prochaine. The coronavirus has brought the entire sector to a crashing halt. However, the horses still need looking after. This club in Maison Lafitte, to the west of Paris, houses and trains around 20 ponies and horses. La vie continue. Les chevaux continuent à manger. Les chevaux continuent à boire. Tout ça ne, ne se fait pas tout seul, ils ne savent pas ouvrir le frigo. The club's manager hopes May 11th will mark a return to normal when the economy starts to reopen. But any later, and she fears the financial cost. Si la fermeture est, uh, est maintenue uh, jusqu'à août, c'est 150 000 euros de chiffre d'affaires à peu près qui, qui, qui partent. Uh, et du coup, nous ne savons pas si on va pouvoir continuer. The closure of the arena in Maison Lafitte had proven a hard blow even before the pandemic. Horses are the town's lifeblood, and the local economy took a major hit. The equestrian industry is France's top sports employer, taking on 66,000 people across the country. That's it for this edition. Thank you for watching. I leave you with these pictures of an empty Paris filmed with Armel Co. Stay home, stay safe, and stay tuned to France 24.